It is the Raw Wrap-Up. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in Mayhem Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. Ready to talk Monday Night Raw. As you do on Mondays with me is from across the way in Mayhem Studio in Pittsburgh, PA. It's Free Agent Matt. That's right. I can sign anywhere. Mainstream Matt on the Twitter. <laughs> yes, he can. Uh, uh, Matt, uh, Mad Mike is still in Pittsburgh. Can't find him. Can't find him. <laughs> He's lost. We just got a message. I'm at a bar somewhere. I'll catch up on Raw later. So I'm sorry, Chad. Put the popcorn back in the box. Oh, Mad Mike, is there a story to tell tonight? Of all the shows for Mad Mike to miss, oh my, oh my. I guess um, the first thing to unpack is that that we had a lot happening tonight. There was the th- there were some things going on. I'm going to start with a fun fact for you. Okay. Um, I just looked this up. Come on, internet. Don't let me down. Okay. Okay, here we go. June 6th. 2013. Would you like to guess what happened on that date in professional wrestling history? June June 6th, 2013. Did a tag team break up? No, no, a tag team did not break up. Hint, a tag team uh, performed together for the very first time. For the very first time? June 6th. Was it it Enzo and Cass, perhaps? It was indeed the first time Enzo and Cass teamed up together at an NXT house show at the FCW Arena in Tampa, Florida. I guess technically that was an FCW house show. And they tagged up against... You're going to love this team, Sorgi. They teamed up against Baron Corbin. What? And Dante Dash. Now, I don't know who in the blue hell Dante Dash is. I tried to look it up, folks. But Baron Corbin, everyone. Man, I forgot that he was like that bad tattoo jobber for a while, right? Bad tattoo jobber. Yeah, then you just cover up his bad tattoos. It takes a long time to turn a former NFL offensive lineman into a professional wrestler. So that's right. That's right. That doesn't just happen there's overnight. There's a lot of there's a lot of molding. There's a lot of making fun of your stomach. There's there's <laughs> uh, I mean, notice he wears a t-shirt every week. I'm just saying. And, and it's all good. It's all good. He's like, well, we'll just throw a t-shirt on that. Uh, problem solved, right? Throw a t-shirt on it. No good. You're yep, good. Yep. Get yep. out there. Uh, you got a weird body. Uh, t-shirt it, right? I mean, it works for us in podcasting world. That's right. That's yes, right. yes. Not showing the body. Yes. Um, but, uh, just shoot it from the chin up. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's why most of you are on audio. Uh, but anyways, uh, you don't, yeah, anyways. Uh, no, Enzo and Cass, uh, the big breakup, the big explosion, the, um, the, the, the Jersey boys explode, I guess, uh, in, in, and, I mean, what, what do you, what say? you say? I mean, this guy's like. Found... I, feel, I feel like we're talking smack now. What Imagine, do we say about that? It was I amazing. I mean, <laughs> how many Come on, Booker say how something many offensive? NXT house shows or live events began with Enzo and Big Cass coming through the curtain at oh, the absolutely. very beginning of the show? Absolutely, like all of them, right? I Every thought, single one. That's I've, exactly. That's the only way you could start an NXT I, live event was to do to run those two out first. And and I love that it is the thread of we have never won a championship. As mm-hmm. popular as they are, as successful as they have been, they have never won a championship. They never won the big one at, at in WWE. They never won the big one in NXT. And it's a you're dead weight. Yeah, and I mean, I I I I get um, why they would do something like this. I mean, Big Cass has massive upside, um, and I think he did a very very good job with his big uh, I'm going heel promo. Oh yeah. Um, you know, far be it for me to judge, but you know, I thought it was pretty effective. Yeah. Um, Enzo shed real tears. Uh, so everyone did real good. Brian um, Enzo, jeez. Our, our boy Gravy, pretty much blowing the lid off the gravy. entire thing. I'm not used to Gravy. <laughs> Corey Graves, of course. Uh, your your now good buddy Corey Graves. We're we're both from Pittsburgh. I feel like we've reached that level where I can call him Gravy now. But <laughs> no. Um, just hanging on the weekends. Oh my you god, know. the explosion in that ring in oh that arena god. on that final segment with oh Kurt in. Oh my god, we just need Elias Sampson coming in and playing a sad song. <laughs> oh my to, god, man, you want to come out and like, play it out like Enzo? Yeah, sorry yeah. you broke up with your tag team partner. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be, it has to be. Yeah, it's just like, like while the whole same speech, it's just him playing, you know, a riff under it, you know, slow. You know, kind of thing. It was like, wait, 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 wait. Let me help. Let this needs to be a thing that they start doing where the most awful ending to any like like imagine like the 
the the segment where the Miz like clobbered the grandfather clock that Maurice tried to give to him, and he's like over there like, "What happened?" Maurice has stormed away, and Samson just hops over the barricade with his guitar and is like, "So your grandfather clock is broken, and your wife walked away. You're sleeping on the couch today." Fantastic the way they they rolled it in there. Uh, Corey Graves, I think we determined while we're watching Corey Graves. GTV stands for Graves TV, right? Apparently, Um, he's been. This goes way back, and, and Graves has been uh, masterminding this whole thing since he was, like, four years old or something <laughs> like that. I don't, I, don't, I don't even want to think about how Wait. long ago that was or how old he Wheels, might have been. Will says wavy gravy. Wavy gravy. Hey, gravy. There's a wavy gravy for you right Somebody there. Somebody was calling out about how how um, artificially and can't be real pristine Graves' hair was tonight. I like the um, the line that Enzo got in backstage about uh, right they're like wrapping up their backstage with with Kurt, and he looks at Graves, and he's just like, "I think you got a hair out of place, kid." And he walks off, and I'm like, "That's not true. That's a lie. That's a there lie. is not a hair out of place." <laughs> Fantastic, but no, I think it was great. Um, the only thing missing for me was, I mean, there was this image that was on, I think, the We Watch Wrestling Facebook group of that uh, of, of Big Cass and and Graves. You know, with like you know, Graves as like the manager kind of kind of situation. I just think that would have been such an amazing thing. Obviously, I don't think we're going with that. But I do like Corey Graves, investigative journalist. Yes, broadcast journalist. Yes, Corey Graves. You no, know, investigative broadcast journalist. That's a step above Bobby Heenan. So it's awesome. Go. Um, I mean, I mean, shirking his duties at the table to talk about WWE 2K18. But, uh, but I'm gonna miss Graves just dropping his headset and looking at his phone and be like, "I gotta go," you know, <laughs> just mouth. But isn't that the way? I mean, isn't that kind of the uh, you know uh, Bobby Heenan? I gotta go take something. I gotta go check on Ric Flair. I. <laughs> but but here, here's something that hasn't been cleared up yet: is like, how is there another shoe that has to drop? Because I was under the impression that this was something that could destroy Kurt Angle. Like, is there something else to this well, whole thing because, that hasn't come out yet? Just because it's a he didn't have the situation under control, maybe people are getting attacked. This is this is unbecoming of a of a general manager or something, right? Or maybe there's another shoe that has to drop, and maybe, maybe. Angle or Graves or one of them wanted to give this a push. Maybe they wanted yeah, to break yeah. those two up, and the they show. got in. And they got in Cass's maybe, ear, and they told him to Cass do it. Cass does have a a partner in crime on this, maybe. You never know. You never know. We got. We got. Who was the time. man behind the man? There's always a man behind That's the right. man. That's right. Who's the Rikishi of the situation? <laughs> Who is the Triple H of the situation? There That's you what go. We're for. There you go. Uh, yeah. So no, I'm very excited about that. I mean, it's very like there was a lot of revelation tonight. Um, let's roll back to the beginning because we had Just Joe come out. Mm-hmm. Uh, or the the Battle of the Samoans, um, or or as I said, um, you know, in one segment we got a. A future um, feud of the battle for who gets to claim Samoan heritage, because apparently Rain says you ain't part of my family. I don't know what you're doing out there. <laughs> you're not part Joe. of my family. You can't possibly be Samoan. Yes, this is ridiculous. There's only ridiculous. one wrestling Samoan family. I don't see you at the reunions. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, which I, I feel like it's going to be a line that's going to get dropped at some point. By the way, fantastic fucking match too. Awesome match. Um, it, it, this is like you know. Uh, Joe just needs to headbutt somebody. It's the headbutt of of magic that makes you just love what's going to happen next. Joe is awesome. Can we just like lay this whole debate to rest? Because I know there's still Joe haters out there. Joe is awesome. Joe's in the ring against the best in the world right now. He is awesome. He is one of the best of this generation of wrestlers. He is the freaking man, and when he fights Brock Lesnar, it's going to be like unlike any other Brock Lesnar match we've seen in WWE. Joe is going to go in there, and they are going to go nuts on each other. I'm feeling it. Yeah. They're building this match up. This is not the typical Brock Lesnar is going to kick this guy's ass match. Joe is going to take it to him. There is going to be a moment in that match where he's going to have Brock in that coquina clutch, and everyone's going to be like, oh my god, is this really happening? Like this, They are going... They're doing this sort. Joe does not need to win. We no. need to believe that Joe might win. Yeah. That's the point. I mean, yeah. it's just like any Undertaker streak thing. We just need to believe, like, wow, is this the one that's going to do it? Um, but, man, from what we've seen, he could completely come away with this. So <laughs> he, He's coming off like the guy who could do it, which yeah, is yeah. half the battle. So so from from that, and, and it was, uh, Jared's out there, uh, uh, you know, introducing... 
um, minus the the uh, text version of an ambulance backing up into the arena uh, uh, for for Braun Strowman. Um, it is a beefcake fest right now because we got Braun. Big shows around, looking as trim as ever. Uh, Cast just went full renegade. Uh, so I mean, it, it, you know, Braun's back, uh, taking out Roman again, and uh, backs the backs the ambulance ambulance up, mm-hmm. which one pissed off my dog uh, <laughs> for like he barked for the rest of the segment. He was so pissed about the backup <laughs> signal, um, but uh, him jumping out of that ambulance and just like comes out and just be like. Just throws the doors open and just like, Bleh! I've been in here the whole time. <laughs> I just, just in stop. my mind, he stole that ambulance. He did. Like and he's been wandering arena to arena. Are they here? <laughs> no, <laughs> just <laughs> missed him. Just missed him. He just he doesn't even get the schedule. He's just been going from arena. Like like we went here. We were in Tulsa one time, right? You know, um, it's hard to drive an ambulance across country. It's, it takes a while. It takes a while. And the gas, man, or or in this case, human blood, just like that show, because Braun. No. Braun, baby. Braun, I just, baby. I just, I just, what, a, what a special human being he is. You're right. <laughs> you know, do you think we're coming like full circle? Like we, we've lived in the in the age of small guys for a while. Oh, and yeah. And just like the beef is loose now, man. But, but, it's just, but it's all again, coming out. Big guys that can do amazing thing. I've had this conversation with somebody else who's a big Braun fan. By the way, there's a I, I haven't talked about it. I've I've told a couple of you guys this. There's a there's a fellow that I work with in, in a community group here. He actually works for the city. <laughs> Huge scary. Braun Strowman fan. He's like he's like, Braun's my guy. Braun, Braun for Braun, mayor. Braun is my guy. Yeah. <laughs> Look out, Bill Peduto. Braun for mayor. Uh, but uh, yeah, I can't wait to see Braun Strowman officiate weddings. Oh, yes. <laughs> Does anybody object? I'm not finished with this yet. <laughs> uh, Do you? Okay. Great to see him back. I mean, hot, hot start. Great match in the middle. The comeback of Braun. The the breakup of of uh, Enzo and Cass explode, uh, which you know you kind of worry about Cass. Uh, you said you know, hey Cass goes to two hundred five live, right? <laughs> I'm merely parroting other people's theories. Okay, but it would be kind of amazing and would um might do well to get him kind of like out of the line of fire for a little bit. It, uh, the, the the Cass Enzo blow off match is not going to be a pretty thing. No, nobody wants to see that. No, the, the better that's well, over. And, the sooner that's and, over, the better. Great balls of fire will probably <laughs> come to a head. <laughs> but and, I think uh, I, I think you get Big Show as the surrogate, or maybe he's beating down on Enzo, and, and Big Show comes in for the sake. I think Enzo just needs needs to take his beating like a man. You think we get uh, as his own man needs to get beat up and um and let's move on. Do you think we end up getting like Enzo and Big Show as like a a kind of uh, uh, temporary tag team maybe? I think I would like to see an angle where Enzo auditions seven footers to be his <laughs> new tag team partner, and I think we could find uh we can go Big Show and we could do various guest appearances, and I'm sure they've got some big tall pieces of meat down in nxt for him to do Random things guys. with yeah you know. where he adds like 10 percent higher charisma to them just by being in proximity Shaq shows up talking about gold bond oh yeah 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 and then um you know bring great Kali back to tease that and get riz all nipples hard on there and that one and uh um <laughs> we'll see what happens um yeah i don't know i mean i hope it was i mean enzo can run his mouth like few i've ever seen in professional wrestling so um he'll be fine he should I just wonder, be you know he'd be fine if he was just a manager but does he drop the accent i don't think he the should jersey the jerseyness of that's it. not his real accent <laughs> that's not his real voice i mean i i, I just it could be um it, it, it'll be called tall enough his reality show <laughs> you know i've always kind of imagined that if enzo wasn't standing next to big cast all the time he would look pretty tall but I don't know. Maybe right? Not. You think he was about as tall as Kurt? Uh, yeah, Kurt's he was. Kind of on the shorter yeah, side. he was. Uh, Cass talked more in his segment than his entire run on the main roster. Says Larry, and did a fine job doing it. There you go. Held his own. All I people. mean, at the tough spot, you know. Do you? I've seen. We've seen other guys put in that spot, and them just like fall flat on their face. Cass, he did it. You know, he made it. Rolling back on the big guy thing. Isn't isn't the dream match these days? Braun Strowman and and Brian Cage. Oh, Cage? Yeah. Oh, my God. I can only imagine. 
I don't know, though, because I see Cage in Lucha Underground, and I don't know how... They never tell me how tall Cage is. He's next That's to these true. tiny I luchadors. Mean, he looks like a giant. He might just yeah. be an ordinary guy who shows up. Um, it, it's kind of like going circling back to Joe. The thing I think about whenever I see Samoa Joe, um, and what immediately concerned me whenever they were um, setting him up to go up against Brock Lesnar was that, oh my God, Joe's going to look small next to Lesnar. He's going to look like you know Kevin Owens when he was up against Goldberg, and you're just like, oh, sweet God, Kevin, get out of there. Um, but Joe does not look small next to Lesnar. I mean, that's no, kind doesn't. of what you know Joe has going for him. No. Um, Absolutely not. Also from tonight, um, I guess we're going to get Goldberg or go kick Goldberg. Gold Dust in L.A. I guess they are next week. Oh. So uh, that that's so it's be going exciting. down with him and our truth. Yep, our yep. truth uh, was uh, quoting some 1989 Batman. I hope they give those guys like a really long match. <laughs> just keep like, going. Just keep going. You know guys. they can do it. I mean, those yeah. two guys have been around for so long. The fa- the crowd's going to be ready for it. I would let's lo- see. I let's would... give them that nice nine o'clock. Let's give them that the you know the the Cena the Cena Memorial time slot right there, top of the nine o'clock hour, where all the heat and the crowd is still alive, um, and just let them go to town and see what happens. I'm ready for Gold Dust. I'm ready for full blown Gold Dust comeback. I'm let's go all the way. I see title. Let's roll, buddy. Uh, and don't call it a retirement run. Whatever you do, don't call it a retirement run. We had a couple of shifts tonight. I, I feel like uh, tag teams were only worth discussing tonight. Uh, they, they did their thing. Yeah. But uh, very specifically, out of one of the tag teams, and, and two segments had this, uh, the Titus brand yeah. is, is rolling. Um, mm-hmm. Guest ring announcer for Tozawa Tiza- matches. The <laughs> power, power of Tozawa. Uh, and, and it was a good match with Perkins, of course, and of course uh, 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 Titus and, and Apollo uh, later in the night. I'm just going to not say his last name because I will screw it up. Uh, but uh, Ooh, Apollo, Apollo, yeah, just yeah. Cruz. That guy needs yes. the single name treatment. To yes, all he just does. Get on with our he lives. Just be Apollo. <laughs> I'm yes, just tired of screwing yes, this up. The Greek god. Yeah, we're just going to go with this. Apollo. Right? I mean, we we saw Wonder Woman. We're kind of in that vein, right? You know, whatever gets us to Tazawa versus Neville, that's fine. Whatever gets us there, and 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 if and if Titus if it takes Titus O'Neil to get us there, you know what? It's just two o five live. Who cares? Just get us to the match. But it's been a great thing for two o five live. It, it's been um, it's better than nothing. <laughs> uh, th- this might be my favorite Titus, and I know I think Mike... the, the Titus that doesn't wrestle is my favorite Titus. Yeah, exactly, right. <laughs> but uh, you know, I, I, I thought he's fine with Apollo even that uh, tonight too. Um, the other big no, the, thing, the, the Titus in a tag team too. Titus yeah. in a tag. Mm-hmm. I mean Slater Gator. I mean other than that. Oh but... my God, Slater Gator! I loved it. I miss it. <laughs> Finn Balor. Uh, oh uh, my handing... God, Finn Balor. Elias Samson. Has drifted his way onto whatever hobo train he is on <laughs> is on the fast track to the main event. He's he's gone. All right, I, I swear he was getting ready to feud with someone before Dean Ambrose. Yeah, he like bypassed that, got to Dean, bypassed Dean, bypassed somebody else. He's all the way on to Finn Balor. He's He's wrestling Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam. <laughs> He's so I'm excited. calling it right now. His headphones just fell <laughs> off his head. He's wrestling Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam. <laughs> Drifter <laughs> Lesnar, SummerSlam. It's happening. No one can stop this hobo train to the stars. It can, cannot be stopped. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Good for him. Good. Paul Lee takes one look at this guy. He's playing his guitar, and he's like, I can work with that. Get me him. Jeez. <laughs> um, I mean, can you believe this? Can you believe this, Sorg? No, Our I can't. Our little Samson. A little Shulo. A Our little, little Logan Samson. Shulo. He was barely a blip in NXT. He hits Raw and it's like, on your way, buddy. Let's roll. Well, Play there, your guitar. So I had a moment because um, there was... So so uh, he attacked Finn mm-hmm. backstage. Did not El Kabong him. Did not El Kabong him. But you, Saving you, that for did, later. Did you notice who came to the rescue? Yes, I did. Devon Dudley. Devon Dudley. <laughs> Little known fact, one of the first Vicious Outcast wrestling shows at the Irish Center in Pittsburgh included Devon Dudley versus a pre-hobo Logan Shulo. Whoa. <laughs> former, they are working on a level that... Formerly available, and actually the show before that, the premiere uh, show for VOW, had Goldust. That's awesome. 
That's awesome. Formerly available at IndieWrestling.us. Now go check out VOWWrestling.com. But so t- you're saying it wasn't an accident that Devon, Devon, get the stretcher. Snowed right? the whole time. Snow. <laughs> it's all meant to be. <laughs> I'm so you, excited you for the grifter. The, you drifted those headphones right off your head. <laughs> it's drifted right off. I'm going to drift right off this couch. I'm so excited over the drifter right now. Don't forget, says Larry. Uh, don't forget Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel, <gasps> the Scare Bears. The Scare Bears. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot wrestling fan. He's got two bears in the ring the entire time, and I'm like, who <laughs> wonder who the two bears are? Or one of them, Dean? My wife's like, no, And you, you idiot. saw the segment no. where they were backstage, right? Yeah. yeah. I saw the whole thing. I didn't put it together until, like, Dean's in there. I'm like, there's no way Miz is going out of the, no going out like this. And then, like, he turns, he's got the two bears, and I'm like, oh, oh, I free Rimmer now. I remember. He recruited <laughs> the Miz is so smart. <laughs> Does this happen on Raw? Nor I don't watch Raw every week. Do they normally like have segments that like play so beautifully into the next one without not, beating you over not, the head with what's going to happen? Not every week. Like there was a lot of subtle things that happened. Also, like you know, things that happened and they paid off like an hour later. Yeah. Like so, there was a lot of threads, and that's I mean, what that I was like. just for like people who were paying attention. Yeah. Like, for yeah. idiots like me, I was completely surprised. Like, I mean, it, you know, it's one of those you, you'd probably have a little bit of trouble if you dropped in the second hour. And be like, wait, what? The Drifter just attacked Finn. What? Devon Dudley's here. What? Well, I can't explain the Devon Dudley except for that my, my my theory about VOW. But other than that, like there is a lot going on here to the point where it got to. Um, I came down here what a quarter two, and I'm like, the women haven't been on, but that's okay. <laughs> they all made it, Sound guys. Sound the alarm, Twitter. Sound the alarm. Where are the women? That's a discussion that was, for another night. It was a great tweet. I think it might have been Justin Lavar. It was like somebody's like, "Where, where are the women at tonight?" And he's like, "James Ellsworth must have thrown away the script." <laughs> so. James Ellsworth put the sh- scripts in the shredder. So James now they Ellsworth can't be on TV. ruin all of your women's division, guys. <laughs> um, but that is a discussion for for <clears throat> Wrestling Mayhem Show, and I hope that we have a fair and balanced discussion on that because a bunch of dudes arguing about it is. Probably not going to be. I well like taken. women more than you. No, I like women. No, maybe, I like maybe women. Maybe we'll just read a lot of women's blogs, uh, uh, wrestling. Because I know, I know some some friends of the show on Twitter uh, are writing things about this, have opinions on yeah. it. There's been a couple that have been dropped in our own Slack channel. Thank God. Uh, so I'm going to grab a issue of Cosmo on my way over tomorrow night, just so I'm ready. <laughs> that's probably not. I don't. I don't know if that's helpful to our our issues here. Um, but anyways, uh, we, is your non boyfriend ruining the women's revolution? That's right on the cover. We have reached out to one or two indie wrestler girls, uh, uh, currently active and not, and uh, and I'm hoping we get some feedback, if not on the show, at least like you know some statement or something of what they think of it. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, but again, not getting into the whole money in the bank controversy. This is not that show. Um, anything else from Raw this week that that we did not touch on? I mean, there was so much of interest. I think that that, that happened tonight. So much going on. So much happening. Jeez, um, oh, I, I feel like we we've covered just about everything. Um, that was a um, like I said, I don't sit down and watch all three hours of Raw on a regular basis, but tonight I did, and um, I, I do not feel like I was. Um, I was abused in any way by the uh, giant WWE machines, so um, good on you guys. Um, Joe versus Roman was awesome. Seek that out. Absolutely. Those two dudes. Roman's awesome, in case you didn't know. Joe's awesome, in case you didn't know. Seth's on the cover of a video game. Oh, yeah! So here's Seth Rollins' deal now, all right? Here's the Seth Rollins deal. What a pandering tub of goo Seth Rollins has turned into. Our, our baby face Seth Rollins. With his, it's not me on the cover. It's like us on the cover, you guys. Like, come on, just bitch. I, just, Sorgi, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I know the ladies love him, but I mean, I just like I'm, I'm, I listen to him talk, and I'm just like, come on, man. Hey, rebuild, man, rebuild. He's on the cover. He's, 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 he's like, I did some so bad things, Shawn but I'm, you and, know, now I feel like the I, error I, I of my think, ways. Please I, take me back. I'm so sorry. I want my country back. You know, he's got all this other stuff going on. It's just, uh, he's always apologizing for things he did like so long ago. <laughs> just turn your face. Come on, man. Um, he, 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 you know, and I think the bigger, the bigger problem here is how, how 2K makes commercials that are more intriguing than both the video game and anything happening in WWE ever. 
they created a more fully formed character for Seth Rollins than like WWE has been able to do since ever. I mean, he's always kind of been this kind of like vague, good wrestler guy, you know, whether oh, yeah. he's good or bad. Absolutely. And now he's, but now he's like, um, but that kind of like, you know, brings things into focus. I mean, when you're, you know, wrecking the archives <laughs> kind of says all that needs to be said. Doesn't That's amazing. It? He's wrecking the archives. I mean, this is like the one where, where everybody walked up to the fire and threw away like, like a part of their past. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm mean, like, it was like deep cuts. Like mm -hmm. this is a wrestling fans commercial. Yeah. Right. I mean, it, it, it's, it's amazing. But again, I don't think anything gets reflected in the video game. Like if that, if that is part of the storyline of like universe or something like that in there or whatever the features are these days. I mean, all oh, last I played was 2K16 on the 360 and that was incomplete, let's be honest. Well, let's look at it this way too. I mean, last year the whole promotional thing was built around Goldberg and yeah. this this little hint wink nudge that turned into a real match against Brock Lesnar and that turned into a, a huge deal. Um, so maybe the WWE brain trust will take a cue or a hint based on the response they see to this trailer, and maybe they well, will kind of tweak Seth's character ever so slightly. I just, he just kind of just, I just... Are you done? Are you done with Power Ranger Seth Rollins? I'm not done with Power Ranger Seth Rollins. Like, no. I mean, there's, like, I mean, it, it's weird. I mean, certain guys just don't feel like they're fully formed at all, you know? It's just like, you're a great wrestler, so you're just going to go be a great wrestler. Like, other guys... I'm trying it, to think of almost, other good and I know examples. I, I've that talked fall into about this, this with Mike. You really need to read the WWE comic book because <laughs> it forms the rest of Seth Rollins. Well, non-canon as far as, far as I'm concerned. Uh, well, uh, it, it very well could be uh, as far as it goes. So, um, I can lend stuff on Kindle. Is that is that a thing I can do, or just borrow them from Mike? Yeah, sounds good. Um, <laughs> And, uh, and, and just on that same note, I mean, the sooner you get away from Bray Wyatt, the sooner you get away from the feud with Bray Wyatt, the better, in my opinion, too. Really? Uh, yeah. It's Back like, to the well. They're going to have great matches. They may have good matches, but I mean, it's just, it's a road to nowhere, man. But Bray's just, I mean, Bray's going to Bray. Like we, Bray's going to Bray and Seth's, we, we, Seth's we, going to do flipping ninja and shit. He lost the title and now it's just kind of over. It, it just feels... Bray's, it's over, man. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he needs to steal a couple of guys from uh, Mrs. Entourage. And, uh, you know, it's inevitable. Hey, the Miz and two other guys, that makes three. Shield reunion confirmed. Who else can stop this army of evil? Of uh, Bo Dallas, Curtis Axel, and the Miz. We must reform the Shield to defeat these men. Right. right, 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 right. Because they turn into their 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 marine characters. Mm -hmm. There you go. And if they turn into their movie characters, we're all in trouble. All in trouble. I mean, I didn't see that movie, it is a but thing I where heard they just like Bo they, Dallas was badass. He just convinces them that they're those characters. He he convinced Damien Sandow to play him for nearly a true. year. So. That is true, and that was that was his, the best of his career. Mm -hmm. He did not he did not get rewarded for that in, in at all, at all. It's unfortunate. Too bad. Unfortunate. But on that note, how much Raw was watchable for you tonight? Matt Carlin's and uh, chat room out there, please let us know your answers. How bad should I troll? How bad? How bad? Um, you know, it was real good, but I don't want to be too generous. So I'll say two hours. Two hours? I think you could have trimmed it off. And, like I felt like once we were getting to the uh, the end of Joe Roman, I was like, this is good. I'm, I'm good. Let's go to bed. But we had another hour to go. Not that that was necessarily filled with bad stuff. <laughs> a bray eater of pins from the chat room by the way i agree uh bray is stale some sort of assassin seth yeah. uh see i'm not crazy i'm not the only one who thinks this sorg but but i'm thinking 245 the only thing that was really throw away for me were those tag matches just and the women and the women i just want to see if you'll say it <laughs> i can't i was like watching it i'm like when did mickey james get out here what's happening so it just all appeared just, just the women appear. Woo. Uh, but uh, anyways, no, I, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, so uh, on that note, well, that is the wrap up. Uh, we were on Facebook uh, this week. I uh, think everybody that jumped on there for us uh, with, with us there since we're doing something a little different being in studio. So we're, we're doing the full setup. Uh, so uh, uh, stay tuned. Uh, probably a little bit different flavor to Mayhem show tomorrow. 
I will be in a hotel room in Nebraska, so so my 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 interactions are going to be questionable probably. Uh, but there will be mayhem. The guys, uh, uh, Matt Harlins is going to be here, like in the seat, assuming the controls, assuming the position, <laughs> assuming the controls. It's it's I don't know what's going to happen here. I don't know what's going to happen. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Or, Extra mayhemy. Or the show won't go out. I, I don't know. It, it could go either way, really. <laughs> yeah, so, that's true. On that note, uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, Mainstream Matt, where can they find you online? Mainstream Matt with one T. Let's talk about women's wrestling. You and me together. Come on. Yes, check him out on the Twitter. Free agent Matt. I'm at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Check out uh, the Twitter and check out uh, Sorgatron on Instagram as I travel to Nebraska. And I will be, uh, I'm sure, visual things going on. So pay attention to that. Uh, well, and of course, I throw those videos out other places too. I are you? I oh okay. There's a thumbs up for for the show being over. Okay, there you go. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Matt Carlin, for uh, dropping in the studio for this. Mad Mike, I hope you're okay out there. We'll see you guys next time. And until then, keep it raw.